I think it helps with with being nervous uh, for like being nervous to compete again. You know what I mean? It's like every time I come here and I watch, I, I like I think to myself, this is gonna be me real soon. You know, like you know, I take it all in. I feel the crowd, and I, I almost pretend like it's my event. You know, so that really helps with with any nerves. Um, but. You know, at the end of the day, they say there's nothing wrong with having butterflies as long as you can get them to fly in formation. And I'm sure when I get out there April 20, like 23rd, that my butterflies are going to be locked and tight and tight formation. And we're going to go out there and we're going to perform the way we always do. You want to get your belt back. What about the prospect putting this out there to Daniel Cormier, that if you take the belt back, that you take his role on Fox as well and you get to promote yourself on Fox for a while. You take his hand as well and you promote yourself for a while. That's funny. That's funny. Um... Do you like the idea of it? No, I don't want to. <laughs> what a shame. I don't want to be a commentator at all. I, I love being an athlete. Um, it's my main focus. Um, I actually love that he's a, he's a commentator. You know, more days he's out there in front of a camera. You know, I just get time to hang out at the gym and, and, and get that much farther ahead of him. So, yeah, let him stay uh, in the limelight, practice for his career after every year. Cool. What do you tell John? What do you tell Holly? One more question, please. What do you tell Holly? What do I tell Holly? Um, Holly is an amazing champion. She's an amazing person. She's an amazing citizen. Um, she uh, she will be back from this so much stronger. You know, Holly is she's a rookie in this sport. And uh, with that being said, you know she's one of the greatest of all time already. Um, so her potential is just sky high. I mean, there's no cap on her potential. Um, um, just wait till she gets the game down. She's gonna be scary, you know. Um, you know, it, it would be it would be great for Rhonda and for Misha Tate for Holly to go and crawl up and and you know feel as if you know her dreams were crushed tonight. But little do they know that was probably one of the worst things that could have happened to them. You know, Holly's gonna come back with some serious vengeance. You know, one thing I always say about Holly is is she. She's obsessed with what she's not good at. A lot of people get good at something and they want to do it all day long. Like Connor, for example, he's a great boxer and that's what he likes to do, I'd imagine. I don't think he has a wrestling coach or a jiu-jitsu coach. I, I don't know, I doubt it. Holly is always working on her wrestling and jiu-jitsu, you know? So now she's gonna be obsessed with these with these things. She's gonna be obsessed with these positions where she fell short tonight and she's gonna come back way stronger. Um, just a super resilient person, man. And, and I'm not worried about Holly. Uh, too much, man. I know for a fact that her, her best is yet to come. It really is. A scary, scary version of Holly's gonna be coming real soon, for sure, <laughs> guaranteed. So she will hold the belt again. No.